Good morning, Panthers. Today's show, today is November 4th. In today's show, we will be featuring a story on the Trunk or Treat event. Lunch at our murals. And at That's So Random. I'm Jonathan. I'm Nate. And this is Gem TV. Ad Club. This week's meeting will be postponed until next Wednesday, November 9th, after school in B4. Come and learn more about agriculture. Everyone is welcome. Recently, lunch and murals have started up. Here's RJ with more. After two years of heavy restrictions during lunch and mural sports, it is now available for everybody to play. But there has been problems with student behavior. Well, the issues at lunch have been quite challenging. Um, we've actually had, thankfully, we've had the help from Mr. Santos and other staff members to help during the sports. But we always just remind the kids that it's just a game at the end of the day. You're not going to win. You're not going to lose. You play with the same people every single day. So it's just, it's just a game. After student behavior during intramural sports, 7K teachers have stepped up to be a referees for lunch football. Kids getting into arguments, mostly just making sure that I'm fair with everybody and making sure that I'm holding people accountable for, uh, you know, making sure that they're letting other people have space and participate where they want to participate. Now we will be asking the seventh grade students how is it playing lunch football with a referee? Um, it's pretty fun. It helps us get along with each other and prevents fights from happening. Now that 7th grade lunch football has a referee, the 7th graders can now play safely. I'm reporter RJ Javate and videographer Blake Johnson from Gems TV signing out. Mr. Acapino's science classes got into their Halloween spirit with their pumpkin lab. Here are some highlights. <laughs> Anime Club is canceled for this week. We will meet again in two weeks. And now, it's time for sports. Congratulations to the 7th grade basketball team for opening up league play with a big win against Olympus, 53-29. Mason Volzer led the team with 25 points, while Zach Mosby had 16, and Davis Mason had 12. 8th grade lost to Olympus, but were led by Brody Vesquelas. Next up is Big Pink Out game on Tuesday. Do not miss this game to get a free cancer awareness shirt, chance to win prizes, bring cash for Dave's dog's food truck, and more. Here's Jacob with the details. News that on November 8th, the Gems basketball team will be having a pink out game against Ike Middle School. Seventh grade being at four and eighth grade being at five. We have some info on the fun events that are going to be at the game. So we have 300 shirts that we're going to pass out as swag to our Panther fans. Um, we'll have an honorary guest, Miss Banderas, there. Uh, we have a food truck, Dave's Dogs will be there, um, our bands will be there, we have a lot of decor that we're going to be putting up, and we'll be running chants in our cheer section, the Panther Pit, I think that's about it. Right behind me is where students will be lining up for the pink out game at 345, and 300 of these pink out shirts will be passed out. Dave's dog will be in the courtyard area before the game starts and after the game starts, so be sure to bring your money. 
Once students are in, they'll line up at this door, and each, each and every student will be handed a ticket to potentially win a basket with gift cards and much more. Over in the Panther Pit area, our Gems Van and our Gems Panther will be there. Go. Now that we know all of the fun activities that will be at the game, will you be showing up to the game? I'm reporter Jacob Kelty with photographer Davis Mason for GEMS TV. Attention 7th graders, registration for the 2024 East Coast trip is now open. There's already one bus filled up. If you're interested in the trip, stop by room 105 for more information. Last week, our festive trunk or treat event took some of our fun events. Congratulations to the following students. They were nominated for this month's Panther Pride celebration. Teachers, please dismiss the October Panther Pride students to the Spirit Center for a short ceremony. Pizza and prizes in the Spirit Center. With the holiday coming up, we asked Panthers what is their favorite what is their favorite Thanksgiving food. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day Panthers. Panthers. I'm Alejandro Alvarez, and today on That's So Random, we will be asking everyone, what is their favorite Thanksgiving food? My favorite Thanksgiving food is probably mashed potatoes. My favorite Thanksgiving food is mashed potatoes. My, my favorite food is turkey. No. My favorite food is mashed potatoes. No. Ham. Um, my favorite foods around this time of year, I like sweet potatoes when they have like marshmallows on top. Oh, my favorite Thanksgiving food is mashed potatoes. Grandma Lou is not just a place to learn music, although we certainly started out that way. It's a place to become your best self, meaning our instructors meet you where you're at and help you achieve your goals. Located in the heart of Lincoln's downtown and the 12 Bridges neighborhood, we have a teacher for every age, stage, and budget. From our mini Mozart's classes to our adult tap, Tamara Lou offers everything including private and group classes, a triple threat performance program, and a literacy intervention and enrichment program. Tamerlu Studios, be your own star. GEMS TV would like to thank our sponsors. Platinum Level, Sierra Pacific Industries, Tamerlu, Gold Level, Escaton Village Roseville, Crawford Orthodontics, Damsel in Defense, Silver Level, Ridgeway Family, Far West Rents and Ready Mix, Silvana Egan, Staples Construction, 1UP Construction, Komodo Technology, Empire Gymnastics Center, Ace Body Shop and Towing Incorporated, Cox HR Consulting, Rockstar Music Academy.
Thank you for watching GemCV.